I want to welcome you back to Black Side tonight. We're going to talk about why Deion Sanders is a sellout for leaving Jackson State for Colorado. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. Deion Sanders has left Jackson State, a university that he said he would elevate to being equal to those white institutions in college football. But Deion Sanders came to Jackson State. He played the game. He ran a play on them, by which I was saying he talked about mentoring black men how to raise black men in talking about supporting black institutions, black businesses, and everything that happens to be black. But as soon as he got the first opportunity to leave those black institutions that didn't have all the comforts of the white ones, see over at Jackson State, they don't have the big weight room. They don't have the saunas and the swimming pools. They don't have the indoor football facility. But over at Colorado, they have everything you want. You know, he just had in one of Colorado's biggest alumni. And he's over Under Armour to talk to his Jackson State students, but they didn't know that he was a graduate of the University of Colorado. Those young men who believed in Dion would be there for them didn't know that Dion was already negotiating with Colorado back into October. They didn't know the game was being played on them for Dion to elevate himself. See, these young black men once again will have learned in their life, you can't trust the older black men. Some of them can't trust their father because they don't have one. Some of them can't trust their father because he's not around. So some of them take a coach as a surrogate father and they believe what he has to say. But once again, these young men are disappointed. Dion was thinking about Dion, Shador, his daughter, Tracy. They weren't thinking about Jackson State. And so many thought that Dion would be the second coming of an Eddie Robinson, someone who would finally take a swag school and make him D1. But he didn't. He was only there for the play. The play was be there for a couple of years and get the hell out of Jackson State. Get the hell out of this crime-ridden city. Get the hell out of these poor facilities. Instead of building something and building a legacy in which they will be talking about you for centuries. They're not going to be talking about you out in Colorado. The white folks out there want you to do one thing win. And if you ain't winning in two years, you're going to be out there. You're going to be on the street like Carl, well, well, of course, Carl Cordell, who was the last coach of black man. You're going to be on the streets just like him. And they cheering on the next white coach. But if you stayed at Jackson State for the next 20 years and you built that institution and built the swack up to the point to one of the two of those schools could have became Division One and competed against Mississippi in the state of Mississippi, Mississippi State, LSU, Alabama, you would have been considered a god. Now you just another coach that promised black men, promised the institution, promised black America. 
that you was doing something for the heart. But you was just only doing it for yourself, your son and your family, which is honorable. But sometimes when we have everything and Dion has everything, he's got money, success, fame. He went to Jackson State, and people going to say it was a sacrifice. It wasn't no sacrifice. That was part of the play. Go there for a couple of years, win some games, and move on. It wasn't about the young men. It wasn't about the institution. It was about his progress and his progress only. And people going to say, well, he's getting $5 million a year. Contract up to $30 million, which is fine. They said, Jazz, you only paid him $300,000. I heard they pushed it up to one point five, But that wasn't good enough because you always got to remember that white man's ice is better. Dion disappointed me. He disappointed a lot of people across black America because we thought he was doing a service to our community. But it seems like there is no service to the community. The only service is getting paid. And this is what these young men learned. And after this, you will hear no more young men talking about going to HBCUs. He done already tarnished the name. Trash the name. There's a reason why Coach Robinson over at Alabama State refused to shake his hand or shook his hand and moved on. And when he said he ain't swack, he was right. Because he knew the play that was already going on. He probably knew through backdoor channels what Deion Sanders was doing over at Jackson State and what he was doing, getting ready to lead the institution, playing this damn role. Even the Southern Band made fun of Deion Sanders in Jackson State. Yeah, people mad because they saw you in a different light. They wanted you to be that beacon of hope that could take Jackson State and help other SWAC schools become better than what they are. But it was just another stepping stone. It would have been the same way if a white coach was there. But one thing about a white coach, he wouldn't have, put, he wouldn't have promised you all the things that Dion said, especially being a black male. He would have just said, I'm here to win football games. You know, once I win a few, I'm out of here tomorrow. He got the $5 million, He got the thirty. But he ain't going to have no peace up in Colorado. I'll tell you that. Don't white folks going to want that Negro to start winning now. And they don't give a damn if you have to get out there with them damn three toes of yours. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button. But also share this video.